Hey YouTubers, welcome to ESG and Net and to the very first episode of the uh, Madden 13 Connected Careers with TJ Bonds, creating a NFL legend. Alright, so this is my uh, Madden 13 Connected Careers uh, mode and this year I, I wanted to bring a character that I created um, in all the other uh, Madden's in years past when they uh, created uh, or they started this whole uh, superstar mode and whatnot. Uh, and he's actually a, the, the son of a character that I created uh, in my college full games, uh, uh, Teddy Bonds. Uh, and TJ is uh, basically uh, Teddy Jr. Uh, basically. Um, actually, is uh, uh, Theodore. Um, Julius Bonds, um, and I kind of got the idea of naming him after his dad, but at the same time, I was kind of naming him, for some reason, O.J. Simpson, you know, Ortho, Julius Simpson, you know, O.J., uh, for some reason, that his O.J.'s name just kind of stuck out there, I'm like, oh boy, this is not, yeah, so, uh, but yeah, this is the son of uh, Teddy Bond Sr., who is the, uh, he was a head coach of uh, the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers uh, franchise mode that I played every single year um, uh, for a year of like, I don't know, I, for a couple, several years in the games. Um, so this, uh, I think, I believe it was Madden, uh, was in Madden 11 or Madden 10 uh, when they started the Superstar mode, I decided to create, you know, I'll create a son. Um, because Teddy, if you guys uh, looked at the uh, video uh, on him and whatnot, uh, there's a background description. And then there's, of course, there's going to be a description. In the description, there's going to be uh, a, a character background of uh, TJ here, uh, where he went to school. He went to school to Stanford. Very smart guy. Um, played for the start, uh, Stanford Cardinals. Uh, played along with, uh, actually, Andrew Luck. I was a big Stanford uh, fan and a Luck fan. Um, the year that uh, he his final year with uh, Stanford, but also the year prior to that, uh, when there's a lot of talk saying, "Oh, he's going to go in the NFL," blah blah blah, and you know, of course, he never did. He, he stayed uh, for another year because uh, they, you know, he had another shot at getting a national title. Um, so I decided, you know, put him on Stanford. Um, he's the eldest son of uh, six kids. There's uh, three boys and three girls, um, and you probably already been introduced uh, to. Um, the other two sons, uh, Terrell, who plays for the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA, and then uh, the middle son uh, is uh, Theo, who plays for uh, he's part of the uh, plays for the uh, Springfield Springfield Cardinals, uh, which are the um, in uh, part of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals organization there in, in Major League Baseball. So. Um, Everybody in the family is pretty uh, well known, uh, pretty athletic and whatnot, and they get that from their dad. Uh, of course, like I can say their dad is the uh, uh, he was the head coach of the Atlanta or the uh, uh, well, he is the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks now because uh, I'll have his connected careers uh, mode um, episodes coming up here pretty soon. But uh, he was actually I created him as Nebraska Cornhuskers coach. Uh, like I said, way back in the day uh, in the earlier games of NCAA boy football. Uh, but TJ, like I said, is uh, the son, the eldest son, and uh, there you see us in video of him uh, getting created and whatnot. And uh, I actually, when I first created him, I, dra he, uh, I drafted him over from uh, college to uh, Madden, and he got drafted by uh, the Broncos. And it was when Tim Tebow got drafted the same year for his rookie year on that game. Um, and so um, I played like two seasons on that team and didn't really care for it because, of course, Tim Tebow, his thing is just, you know, run and go, you know, just gets the ball and run. Uh, and I got tired of that. I want to be a part of a team that actually ran the ball. So uh, I actually I played two full seasons with, uh, with the Broncos. Uh, I got frustrated, so I, got, I just said, you know what, I want to trade, trade me anywhere. And the team that picked me up was the Green Bay Packers. So since now Tebow is gone, uh, and he's in uh, with the Jets, 
I decided to go back, I decided to recreate TJ and put him on the Broncos and see what he can do uh, part of the Broncos organization. And there you see uh, there the new uh, interface uh, there on uh, Madden this year, which I love. Uh, it's really fun. And, um, I'm hoping to get uh, TJ as that great running back. Uh, the idea or the concept I want, to, I want him to uh, try to get the um, rushing record, uh, get that away from uh, Emmitt Smith. I'm, I mean, I'm an Emmitt Smith fan, love him and everything. Uh, no, no, you know, no ill will to him or anything. Great player, uh, great guy. I actually met him in real life uh, one time before. Uh, really great guy. Uh, but yeah, I want uh, this guy, TJ Bonds here, to become the all-time leading rusher. Um, and which may be hard because now, you know, the NFL nowadays is uh, more of a um, uh, pass first, uh, run late, you know, run second uh, type of league now. Uh, and there you see, we're showing, I'm showing some uh, footage of practice and whatnot uh, in this video. Uh, but yeah, um, I had, like I said, I got, I traded, got traded to. Uh, to Green Bay, play with Aaron Rodgers and uh, Michael Finley and and whatnot, um, uh, and um, had a lot of fun with that. Actually, uh, the, his first season uh, when I got traded, my first season, I got to play in the Super Bowl. A guy was a starter and went to the Super Bowl and won the Super Bowl. Uh, and then uh, played um, the following season. We didn't go back to the Super Bowl. But we did get in the playoffs. Uh, and then the season after that, we went back to the, we got to go back to the uh, Super Bowl and won it again. Uh, I think I, I think I, we what, are total of like seven or eight seasons. So I just got, when I got tired of playing the um, and the uh, that Madden game because that that year that the Superstar mode was kind of funky Jim and Nance just not, you know, We're live here tonight for this prime yeah, time matchup. Uh, and there you see Jim Nance and uh, Phil Sims there, which I'm glad they put them in the game. Great commentators, Jim, you're uh, right. the great voices uh, you to narrate the, the game. Here tonight, uh, but the players players see, we're playing against the uh, first game of uh, the season, playing against the Chicago Bears there in Chicago, which is wet. Very very. Don't make those I, I would only imagine. Your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, but, uh, no yeah, in this game, well. you're not going to see too much like action. Uh, I think I should have seen these well, first two games. You're not going to see too much of TJ doing too much of running, I should say. I think he does a lot of punt returns. I think he has a few offensive plays, but not too many. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this series, I, um, I'm going to try to get these videos out as much as possible. Um, I know football season is over with, and the draft's about to start and whatnot. I've got a really late start this year of uh, you know uh, putting things together, especially the NFL stuff. Um, but hopefully uh, with, uh, you know, with uh, I have some time off and when I can get some of these videos done. I'm thinking about... Um, skipping on the next episode. Uh, episode two will probably be He's the first game of the season, um, and uh, skip the last two uh, preseason games. Really not that important. That we'll 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 really wasn't that exciting or anything. You see, uh, my boy, uh, Peyton Manning. I, mean, I was so upset that he had to go that he left uh, Indy, uh, but at the same time, you know, yeah, Andrew Luck going there. So I'm. I'm Again, yeah, I'm still an Indy fan because they had luck, but also, too, I'm also a Broncos fan, too. Um, uh, since now, especially they now, since right Payton's there and now, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun now. He can come to Kansas City and beat them up uh, two times a year. Uh, I, I, I said in other videos where I'm from, I'm from a little small town in uh, Kansas. I'm near St. Joe, Missouri. Um, and I'm about 45 minutes north of uh, Kansas City. Which is from the St. Joe area. And you see a fumble by TJ there. And, uh, not a good way to impress the coaches there on that play right there. See, yep. You gotta catch the ball, you gotta hold on to the ball. There, boy. Uh, I'm sure the coaches got on to him about that. You know, welcome to the NFL, Rook. <laughs> and there you see, so uh, they get the ball back and not too good of, uh, like I said, first impression. 
for TJ to put give uh, the coaches there of the Broncos. So Broncos are leading the game right now, uh, seven nothing. Uh, but yeah, like I said, um, you know, I see Peyton Manning come to Kansas City twice a year to rough up the Chiefs. Uh, it was a nice thing. <laughs> Uh, I enjoy that. I enjoy just, uh, seeing my friends suffer. Uh, <laughs> and I don't think that's a wrong I mean, that's a bad thing to say, I guess. <laughs> uh, even though the Chiefs are, you got the first pick uh, Thursday. We'll see how, how bad of a pick they're going to make. Uh, they need a lot of things, so that's <laughs> uh, But anyway, uh, get off track here. Uh, there you see TJ. Like I said, this game's not that fun to watch. Um, it was a lot of uh, simming. Uh, you guys can pause it and see what happened you know, on the sims and whatnot. I'm not going to really get into that. But there you see him. He's on special teams uh, blocking on this field goal, uh, field goal kick try. right here, which is yes, good. Sir. Well, Jim, I know uh, so if you would go, you'd probably be happy to the field goal, but uh, not me. I want we leave the game. Take some more um, chances and get it done. But, uh, yeah, I mean um, – I'm try I want to build him um, as a uh, NFL you know, icon, uh, NFL legend, um, and um, you know, uh, I don't know how many seasons I'm going to play this game. Uh, it just it depends on if it becomes exciting and fun, um, and if it doesn't come become something that just like uh, you know, this is boring. I, was, you know, I can't really do much. Just, you know, especially if I'm getting, you know. You call it uh, getting set, you know, being set on the bench a lot. You know, I'm just like, okay, it's, it's either time to change it up or you know, change a different team, or I'm just gonna quit the series. Um, I will say, when we uh, when I do start the live stream, which I'm hoping I can do that here, um, sometime I, I was looking at um, the end of this month, uh, in April, which is this month. Uh, or sometime in the beginning of uh, oh, uh, May, uh, maybe even into June. Uh, this will probably be a live stream uh, thing where we'll do uh, a, quite a bit um, for this game. Um, like I said, I don't know exactly. I I'm trying my best to try to do it at the end of this month, this live stream. Um, but chances a are it probably won't happen. Uh, I know you see we lost the game. Um, and like I said, is the post -game TJ wasn't Rocky in this game that much Gatorade. here. Uh, we lost the game, I believe, 34 the to, uh, you need to rebuild the muscles. And then you see the uh, it was one of those games teams where you are talking about their midfield. It was going to be hard to accept that someone not, was going to uh, have to lose this one. Smith yeah, it is, Jim. The coach and there. Both teams and played uh, hard Chicago, enough to win. Uh, take uh, off. But the and, difference uh, was that one uh, turnover. So when you lose a close game, the positive of a mistake, Man, there. doubly tough uh, to tell. Briggs uh, get a good win there so for Bill Sims against and all the crew at EA the, uh, Broncos. Jim Nance uh, saying so well by for four. Now. And there you see uh, TJ, uh, good run. Uh, but hopefully, um, like I said, he can become the starter, uh, the everyday starter, um, or everyday. Well, I'm not saying it's not baseball. Uh, uh, the week by week starter in the game and uh, actually uh, put up some numbers and whatnot. Uh, so the final score there in the first game is uh, Broncos 30, uh, Bears 34. Now we're going to the second game against the Seahawks. And you see the Seahawks uh, have a D uh, uh, prestige uh, rank of Fifth in offense, we're a mile third above in, sea level, in, uh, which defense. means we must be in Denver defense. for this preseason and see sports matchup between the Seahawks been there before. and the Broncos. Beautiful, beautiful stadium. Uh, went out there a couple of uh, hello friends, Jim Nance, along with Bill uh, a couple of years ago, about two or three, or no, four years ago, about four the years ago. Are on, the uh, building, I actually had a friend yeah, really in college that lived in Golden, Colorado. I was there to watch this. Went to when he showed us around town. They know it's a different game there by uh, my everybody's stadium. Gonna be home Beautiful stadium. Uh, and believe me when I tell you, stadium. players like that. Um, well, we talk about hopefully Seattle, Wednesday Seahawks, I can get a chance to you know, go the one thing I'll, I'll think about Seattle. He Carroll's um, done an awesome see, uh, job. Slowly go, building that team up where, so. you know, he's not building the West uh, Coast Like I said, we're playing against the Seahawks at home, first home game. Really excited. 
How do you think this game comes uh, Of course, down? you know, Pops well, is not there. Uh, uh, Teddy Singh, the of course, he's got his own. You know, he's in the NFL now. He's a coach now. So you can't really go watch a son play like he used to. I believe the very first game he has to play against that. Of course, these are two different connected careers, so we won't really see you know his coach on the sideline or his dad on the sideline there or his son in the game uh but i mean that's a funny funny thing i, I, I remember seeing that um it's still if i'm not mistaken i've already Seahawks played uh, a couple of games already uh of the atlanta series um uh, the atlanta falcons come to careers and i believe uh, Teddy, uh, i think the first game was against the Bronco, so I thought it was kind of fun uh, that he was <laughs> that he had to play against his uh, son's team. So, uh, but there, there you see uh, Seahawks already up uh, seven, and uh, the Broncos scored th three uh, on that drive right there. And now the Seahawks have to punt the ball. And he's the ball this one and and called a fair catch. Uh, you know, a lesson from the coaches from the past week to him, hey, you know, call fair catch. This game, the NFL game is a lot quicker. Uh, the players are a lot bigger and a lot stronger than they are in the in the uh, collegiate le level. So, and do they go for another field goal there? And it is good. Uh, extra point uh, for uh, the Seahawks. There you see Matt Flynn, who got all that money, and I think now he's oh, I think he's going to, uh, to Arizona now, uh, be their uh, starting quarterback. So. Um, so uh, I guess so. Uh, my question is, what do you think? Uh, what do you think is going to be the biggest uh, shocker uh, for the NFL uh, and after draft the extra coming point, out here? The uh, draft is coming out uh, Thursday night, um, and usually there's a lot of buzz uh, about uh, certain players and stuff like that. But this, I, I mean, I don't know. This year just seemed like it's a different year. Like there's not much they bring buzz in about an extra player. Back. Uh, there's not a big name that's going to. Third down. Shock that year, yes. I guess. Uh, I guess at least around here, can I can't, I can't see. We got the Kansas City has any more quick for this year. And you see what the numbers between Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson, excuse me, and Peyton Manning. So far, great game for me, of course. Always, you know, always putting up good numbers there. Uh, you see Barnes gets a catch right there and takes it. Yeah, there you go. Uh, first down right there, so I'm going to. I'm sure he is so excited about playing uh, with uh, Peggy Manning there, uh, there as a Bronco. Uh, hopefully for a couple years to come. So. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Kansas City, there's not been too much talk about Kansas City because uh, Andy Reid's been very quiet about uh, you know, who he's tipping his hat to or who if they're going to go offense or defense. Um, quite honestly, uh, my first thing was they need a quarterback, but since we get rid of Alex Smith, I think they're pretty well set. I mean, they could go up. You know, a lot of people are saying they go up to Geno Smith, which uh, I don't see that being. The point after uh, try is in the uh, books. And the are of the Kansas City Chiefs. I would believe they would go offensively. Uh, they really need to work on the offensive line. Uh, here lately, they they haven't been able, been able to move the ball, and especially you got a guy like Jamal Charles in the backfield. Uh, you need some good blockers to get him to really open up, uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a you know I'm, I'm the uh, you know I have him on my fantasy team. <laughs> uh, I mean they really do. I mean they got a great running game. You know, they are methodical, aren't they? It's kind of boring to watch. Dexter, uh, I mean, they, I mean really you need to work on the offensive line there. I mean they um, they you know really try to work on the inside interior offensive line there. Well, that last play almost yeah, got you can't always have uh, Charles and Dexter run outside, you know, run outside and whatnot. Uh, teams are going to pick up on that uh, really quick. They see right there, that's the kind of blocking you need uh, in the NFL. And you see TJ uh, just shy of getting that touchdown right there. Great blocking right there. Just whoop, right up there. Sorry, Chris Berman, didn't mean use, didn't mean use your material there but that was a good play right there uh, so he's just a yard short of getting that touchdown and then you see the touchdown Broncos uh, so now you see TJ getting fired up getting ready 
I'm sure his brother is probably out there watching him play in this preseason game. We see uh, scoring a touchdown, so now 43 20. And I give the extra points, I'm going to make it 44 20. Great game for uh, the uh, Broncos right there. You see a nice run by TJ. By, uh, Point, the Broncos lead by 24. On the smart kick, on the smart guys. <laughs> and you see 20 yards of the, uh, on that drive. 20 yards so far in the game and a touchdown with six carries. Um, but yeah, I mean, who do you guys, what do you think is going to happen on uh, Going back to the draft, what do you guys think is going to happen on the draft? Do you think there's going to be a big name? Um, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are saying that uh, Lane and Saint Castle can make up for it, you know, <laughs> for the Kansas City Chiefs, which is we all know Deion Sanders, um, <laughs> which I would I would crack up laughing if that was the if that was the case, but you know you know, uh, but yeah, I mean again, I mean, I, uh, no, quite honestly, this year I have not really did too much homework uh, for the draft because. Um, this year I really watched too much of uh, professional football. I did, I did read a lot of articles like that, fantasy, fantasy and all like that. Look at stats and stuff like that, but uh, I didn't really get to get to watch too much uh, football because I'm working and uh, just other uh, hobbies I have and stuff. So uh, and there you see TJ getting that good run right there. Look at that boy, just just a beast right there. Getting the touchdown right there, so now you need the extra point, point and the kick is good. 58-20. I'm sure they're going to end up pulling the uh, first stringers and maybe second stringers out and putting the third stringers in right there. You see TJ getting another touchdown. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. Extra point, thing, and the extra point is good. Makes it 61 at 23, and they're in the fourth quarter and zipping through it in the simulation the there. Here, and uh, TJ back on the field. Uh, he's going deep and doesn't get thrown to him, but gets thrown to Holiday. And Holiday just, just going just beast mode on that play right there. Catches it and getting a first down. He gets it again and there you see Barnes gets the ball and well, short out of the first. So now they have to have no choice but to kick the ball fourth and one with uh, 530 left in the fourth quarter. And it is good extra point uh, for the Broncos once again. Now with a minute 15 left, they're going to throw the ball to uh, uh, receiver right there, Gladwell. And they're going to pretty, pretty much kneel on the ball to end the game uh, with this the final score 64 23 the Broncos and get a big win and uh, there you see a lot of the uh, fans in the Broncos left because they just say figure hey it's, it's a blown it this game well, it's a big won. performance it's a blowout let's go ahead and just uh, go party there downtown uh, of course Denver, the players so. are not thinking about big the win, fact that uh, hey a lot of people the, are watching this uh, Broncos here today in this game and for TJ win, and there you, you see back and think uh, everybody is watching this there and you played well from, from boy that is NFL some great experience uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah I mean uh, like I said I'm going to try to watch the draft as much as I can and see what's going on and what not um Normally I have a couple of buddies have a draft party. I haven't heard anything yet about anyone around here having a draft party. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure someone's gonna have one. But uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Leave your comments and everything on the, there in this comment section. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, leave a like. Uh, tell me what you guys want to see from this series. Uh, hopefully, I can do my best to get this uh, series out as much as possible. And like I said, uh, uh, once we get to into live stream and stuff like that, this will probably be a live stream exclusive uh, to the channel, um, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll go from there. So uh, that's it for me, uh, you guys. There you see some stats uh, being uh, looked at right there. You see 43 yards, 12 carries, two touchdowns, averaging uh, three and a half uh, yards a carry right there from Mr. T.J. Bonds, uh, rookie from Stanford. Uh, they're out in Cali. So, all right. Again, like like I said, you leave you guys comments. Uh, leave a like for the video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. 
and uh, check um, other videos out here on ESGN Net. And, um, uh, and tell me what you think about the channel and uh, what uh, you guys would like to see from this uh, series. Like I said, uh, this series I'm going to try to pump out and try to get these videos out as much as possible. Um, uh, try to, you know, put some entertainment entertainment uh, factor into it and whatnot and, uh, so you guys can follow the, the ups and downs of uh, what a rookie has to go through in the uh, as a uh, NFL uh, star NFL halfback in the uh, National Football League so that's it from uh, me uh, you guys check out more of the channel and uh, like always keep yourself and each other healthy and I'll see you guys next time here on ESGN Net Later, y'all.